What is going on YouTube? I got another uh There we go. No, I keep talking. I got another vlog for you guys today, man. I hope everybody's having a good day today and and and, and having a positive day as well at that and staying positive out here. Uh man, this one gonna be about these security guards at some of these damn harbors, man. It is getting out of ridiculous. And much more what I'm about to talk about as well too. This morning I was at Tripack over here in Wilmington, San Pedro, borderline area over there. Pretty much, it. they call it Los Angeles or whatever. Anyway, my first dispatch or my first round for the day and whatnot, my appointment wasn't until 8 o'clock. So, I was just out there just pulled over to the side camping out until my appointment was ready to whatnot. And here comes security coming telling us, telling, well, telling me, oh, either go inside or get, or get the hell out of here. Like, just saying it like that. Like, not even giving a fuck. And then, when we get inside, and everything and we and person on the speaker was telling us oh it's too early when i go to trouble window and wait and try again after 7 30 or 8 o'clock and us truckers we were just all just sitting in just sitting there posted or whatnot and here comes security telling us telling us again oh you, oh either either you can't be inside the truck you gotta go wait inside the trouble office but we was arguing back with the security guard telling like oh our appointment, well, some people's appointments wasn't until 10 o'clock. Some people, yeah, some people's was until 10 o'clock, some was until 8 o'clock. And we was telling them, our appointments are not until the time that that was given to us. There's nothing we can do. We have no choice but to wait. And some other drivers are going back and forth with the security guards, like, really telling them like it is and shit. Like, dude, these, about, these fucking employees, these security guards, they do kind of treat us like dogs and they don't come and they don't respect us. As individuals and as human beings, I personally don't tolerate that shit. I speak up as well too. I'm not afraid of these damn employees and these security guards. What the fuck are they gonna do? If they touch me, they're gonna lose their job, and I'm just gonna defend myself. It is what it is. I'm gonna fight back. I don't care. Ain't nothing gonna happen to me. At the end of the day, I got this piece of plastic CDL license in my wallet, and I can do just about anything I want to do out here. One thing I'm not gonna let 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 happen to me is somebody laying their hands on me, walking over me disrespectfully talking to me in a bad tone and pretty, pretty much is acting ignorant. Bro, I'm not gonna let that shit happen to me. Uh, I've been doing this for two and a half years. Yes, I was I was a scary individual compared to 2018 until way back before he was driving. I was a scary individual. I was scared to speak up. I was scared to defend myself. I was just, you know what I mean? I was just pretty much a scary ass person. I'm being honest with you. I'm not gonna lie about it. But now, that's 2018 now, I'm talking shit back, I'm talking shit, I'm saying things like it is, I'm saying whatever I want. As long as I don't, as long as I, I don't present myself as a threat to you or anyone out here, technically, I got the right to speak up, and I got the right for uh, freedom, and I got the right to speak up. Hands down, as long as I don't threaten you in any type of way, I'm gonna say whatever the hell, I'm gonna say whatever the hell I wanna say, and I don't care how the way you take it, oh well deal with it you know uh fuck no but let me put a disclaimer out there not all security guards not all clerks are bad people trust me i know a few employees that work at these places and whatnot and i know a few security guards and everything and they're cool they're there to get their paycheck and get the hell out of there and that's it they, they even told me they're not gonna follow the politics and the bullshit that goes on here nah he was like man we ain't trying to f well they were saying that for them as an individual, we're not trying to fuck you truck drivers, truck drivers over and whatnot. We're trying to help y'all get out of here so y'all can make y'all money as well, too. Because I, they was telling me like it is, like, you know, they be fucking you guys over. And, per, and, they, and for example, they was like, me personally, I don't like I don't like to fuck over these truck drivers and whatnot. I try to help them and try to help them get out of here, you know. And I totally understand that. Yeah, so not all these people that work here, they're not bad people. They... They cool, they just there to get their money in and do their thing and get out of here. Just like us. Um, anyway, it's been slow out here. I don't know what's going on with the work lately. I don't know. Um, I'm thankful that I'm working every day. I'm working seven days a week as it is. I'm thankful for that, but and that, but I don't know what's going on. I haven't seen no trucks on the street. I'm thankful that I'm working every day. I'm happy. Shit. Putting that out there. I'm happy, but I haven't seen no trucks on the street. And it hasn't been bad traffic on the freeway lately. For an example, where the 605 and where the 5 is at, man, everybody know how, how that shit is. It's always at a fucking stop and go, stop and go. Lately, 
going right through there like nothing. Even on the 710, where the 5 is at. It's just been like that. I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. I don't know. I just hope that for whoever is going through this slow stage or whatever, who's not able to work every single day, keep your head up, stack your, stack your money. That's all I can say. And best of luck to you, you know? Uh, other than that, everybody drive safe, be safe, have a great day, and man. And thanks for tuning in. And until then, be on the lookout for another uh, video.